bitch. Let me tell you something. Check out my Hogwarts pants, Harry Potter. A diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. I'm a, I'm a, a diva. I don't know why, but today I just wanted to, cause if you guys don't, if you guys know me at all, I love to watch organization DIY house tours clean up videos i love watching that so why can't i just make one of my own deja diva deja style organization and cleaning so basically this is my room i'm gonna take i'm actually gonna do a video and take y'all on the journey of how i'm gonna make my vanity and decorate the ice cream truck here bitch y'all want some ice cream i don't know but the ice cream truck be coming here all the time. But today I'm in my paint shirt. I use this shirt to paint in, obviously, when I back, did theater tech back in the day. Got my Hogwarts pants on. And I want to show y'all my room. Now, it's really messy. It's really messy. It's really messy. But I want to clean it with you guys. I will take y'all on a journey of how I'm decorating my new apartment and everything. It's going to be a lit and situation. So basically, my... Build a bear booty fools on the ground. My stuff, all of my toiletries in my bucket. This is my perfume and stuff. D clothes. I kind of started folding some of it, but you know, dirty clothes, step stool, my makeup brushes, and Ew! alcohol, a glass of wine I had. It's pretty bad. She ain't the most clean, but I want to take y'all on a journey of how I get this shit done. So basically, I'm just wrapping up my file, throwing stuff away, figuring out if I want to keep certain shit or not, putting shit in my closet, and washing out my brushes. If y'all don't know me, I wash out my brushes after each use. Bacteria is the devil, and I'm going to towel dry my brushes. I've cleaned up my temporary beauty station. There's a lot going on. All of this, all of this will be drastically transformed by the time I build my vanity and I'm starting to run out of room for my polishes. So they just gonna have to be like that for a minute. I'm gonna just put the rest of these at the bottom. Fuck. I had to struggle to pick that up from behind my dresser. This is going to be gotten rid of. It's going to be a completely different nail polish situation because I can't stop behind polish. Now it's time to do the rest of the room. So, this is the rest of my room. I'm going to clear off my bed. I have to work in my room in section. Clean off the floor first. I like to get my beauty station done, get the bed situated, and then get my stuff out of this little nightstand area. So, this is all the shit that I have. I'm gonna put my clothes up, um, and I'm going to also clean out my purse. So, I'm just picking up the clothes I folded earlier, putting those away. I keep dropping this whiteboard, it just never stays up. So now I gotta clean up this, clean out this purse. When I clean my room, I like to wash my brushes, clean out my closet and my drawers, re reorganize, clean up my bathroom and stuff. So when I'm cleaning, I really like to go full out just because I feel like when you just straighten shit up and you're not cleaning stuff out, you are creating a bigger mess than it originally was. So yeah, I gotta clean this purse out. Y'all see this? Ridiculous. So I am cleaning out my purse. I keep a few journals in there a charger and stuff, but I had to just pour it out and get it together. I had receipts. All my pills spilled out, so y'all see me trying to put the pills back in the damn bottle. I keep a few little medications in my purse, you know, just in case. You never know. You never know. Cleaning up and reorganizing everything, getting it together. Yes. And now I'm just cleaning out the rest, putting up all of my toiletries, getting my bed together. I had to sprinkle a little powder in my shoes. I'd like to do that to keep them fresh. Now I'm making my bed. Take this basket of clothes and throw them in the washer. And after that, I'm going to break down my garbage and take it outside and vacuum. And basically, what I do to top it all off, I got this Glade.
clean linen, which if you don't know me, clean linen, fresh towels, laundry is my favorite smell. And I just sprinkle this into my carpet and let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour. Basically what I do is I just take this and I get a good little sprinkle around my carpet and let it sit and then vacuum all that shit up. So basically while that's sitting in my carpet, I'm going to clean up my bathroom. Cleaning up my bathroom is very important to me. I clean up my shower daily, if not every other day. So we're gonna clean out our tub first, then we're gonna move on to the sink, and then we're gonna clean out the toilet. So eventually, I'm gonna get an attachment for my shower so I can have the hose so I can spread down. But until then, I'm gonna have to use this damn pitcher to pour the water on the sides of the tub. The water's gonna get everywhere. That's fine. I'm gonna mop this bitch anyways. So basically, I'm spraying my tub down and using some dish soap to scrub it down. I don't like using Comet on my particular tub because it peels my paint. I'm scrubbing down the walls and I scrub down my shower curtain and everything with that little scrubber brush. Now I'm using that pitcher to rinse off all the soap and get it all rinsed off and rinsing out my shower curtain. Now I'm going to spray down my sink, use my sponge and scrub my sink down just getting it nice and clean and using some paper towels to dry it off. Now I'm going to spray down my toilet and use uh, disposable cloth wipes. I don't think using reusable towels on your toilet is the most sanitary. I like using these, just scrub them and throw them away. S washing my hands and now I'm about to spray down my mirror and clean it off. And now I'm using some mop water to mop. While I'm waiting on the floor to dry, which it will dry quickly because I use boiling water. Just gonna spray it down with some fragrance. This is the Glade Crisp Waters. I love it. So the rug that was in here, I threw it in the washer, so. Now I'm vacuuming out that powder that I sprinkled into my floor. I like to leave tracks and vacuum my closet in my foyer leading to my bedroom and I'm wrapping the cord around the vacuum and spraying it down with that spray that I use in my bathroom. And now I use the secondary spray that I like in glass cleaning my mirror in my bedroom. I like to layer my fragrances and light a candle. So see how messy it was before, how dysfunctional and trifling and ghetto it was. And now here's the after. And now here's the after. It's real clean. You ain't really clean your room if you ain't lit up a candle and put it on your dresser. So I cleaned out my closet. Thank you guys so much for cleaning up with me. Thank you for dealing with my ghetto shenanigans. Um, I'll come at y'all with more videos that are relevant to what I kind of do as a channel. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and bye divas. I'm a sad bitch. I don't like these niggas cause they come with too much baggage. Leave that semi sitting at your door like it's a package. Ride the float like a lad. Then he say it's wet like the ocean on his face the Titanic. Ah. Diva with the verses, leave these rappers up in hearses Y'all know I'm the rap god, that's why he eat it like it's churches Yeah, got your nigga lurking on your head just like a turban